Howdy 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 my darling Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today we're going to get it into your weekly tarot reading Gemini for July 2022. So if you find some tarot cards in this weekly tarot reading, let me know that resonate with you. Let me know in the comments below Gemini as well as give this video a like and subscribe darling. It's completely free to do and it supports this tarot reading channel a lot as well Gemini. If you enjoy this weekly tarot reading, check out the top right hand corner of the screen and there'll be a link to the monthly tarot reading as well for you for the month of July Gemini. All right, so be sure darling as well to check out more than just your sun sign be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign gemini to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life that's how you make youtube general tarot readings resonate the best for you now gemini we're going to be getting into three rows for your reading here your first row is going to be talking about your career as well as your financial situation for the week of july and then your second row is going to be talking about social relationships in your life platonic romantic something in the work family darling and then in your third and final row we're going to be doing some general messages that y'all need to be hearing at this time all right gemini so back of the deck energy here for you for this overall energy is the four of cups for you gemini all right now the four of cups is really powerful it's the sense of like not missing an opportunity not missing a message not missing some insight that spirit's trying to bless you with here gemini all right this is missed blessings this is missed opportunities that will be happening this is the time for you to be keeping open being open-minded gemini you are asking help from your spiritual team to bring forth certain opportunities to open certain doors in your life here darling and they're letting you know that they're actively trying to do that but you're not recognizing how they're leaving certain hints or certain clues to help you open those doors darling all right so start asking yourself this week gemini where are you being a little bit too rigid with your views darling because your spiritual team is actively showing to me that they are leaving hints and clues you're not going through a spiritual psychosis darling like those clues are valid all right so now let's get into uh, your career as well as your financial situation here, uh, Gemini. We'll be pulling clarifiers after the fact. So your three cards here are the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands with the Two of Swords coming in here. All right. I feel as if, Gemini, it's like spirits presenting a different pathway for you to be getting to the same destination of success. But some of you guys are not being open to it. You notice the same theme here, both with the Two and Eight of Swords. We'll just put a focus on these two for a moment here, Gemini. All right. Both of them share the pattern of where their eyes are being covered. All right. Where their arms are being or wrapped around as well, where you're powerless in a situation. You feel as if you're powerless. All right. But it's all an illusion here. All right. You have to be making a choice. Your path crosses here. Your path forks out. You say you want something, something different for your financial life. You say that you want uh, a change, but are you willing to actually do the changes necessary? All right. This is, are you actually ask yourself the question gemini where are you having excuses with yourself or where are you creating those excuses that tell yourself that you wouldn't be successful perhaps if you were to go down a new path all right um you need to get out that out of your head because you would be successful there's a reason why that path is being brought up to you in the first place here all right but i get by opening up to change, by opening up to, to going down a different path, darling, that's where the success really is for you. All right, Gemini. Now, taking a look in regards to your social life here, you have the three as well as nine of cups and then the three of swords coming in here. Now, Gemini, I'm going to be quite blunt here. I feel like this is a situation that you were dealing with with somebody where normally you would not have bothered engaging with someone like this but you gave this person the time of day you gave them a chance to prove themselves to you and then they failed <laughs> the, then it's like someone like it's like you didn't give this person you didn't have high hopes or expectations for this person and they still found a way to disappoint you here uh gemini i feel like you settled when it came to this person here you really wanted you really wanted them to be different it's like on some level you wanted them to prove you wrong all right you wanted them to prove to you that you're just being a little bit too cynical here but it's just this sense of where it's just like there's somebody in your life where you're just like just so disappointed by it's like they continue on in the same habits the 
same patterns this the sense of where i don't feel like someone is ever willing to change all right i get i get the strong sense of gemini where it's just like people around you are just looking at you she's like why are you settling with this person over here you're deserving of so much more that's like the thing that comes to mind as well i want to keep uh put to notice that the nine of cups is the center of your spreads energy here that's the heart of the spread so the nine of cups is talking about by definition a wish being granted for you all right um it is a card of overall just happiness with the results that you are getting know knowing that that's it's not the end of um the goodness all right some of you gemini's need to hear the message that um that just because some good things are happening doesn't mean that there's something bad that's gonna follow up shortly after mm -mm. i got like the message of wells as well where it's just like yes it is real i don't know where that came from now, Gemini, in regards to your general tarot messages, you have the Five as well as King of Wands with the Knight of Cups coming in here. All right. I get like this sense for you, Gemini, where, you know, it's like you have certain people that want to be part of your story, that want to be part of your journey, Gemini. I feel like there's a lot of people that admire you and really just want to walk beside you all right and you continuously get these types of offers you continuously get these people who in a lot of ways i feel like you'll notice if we're going to just be blunt here in gemini i feel like you always attract people that are below you or no <laughs> that's very condescending it's like you attract people that like you always are teaching them something like you always shape them up it's like you probably feel gemini is like everyone that comes into your life you leave them at a in a much more evolved or better place all right and I get this frustration for some of you Gemini's just like, man, why am I fixing up all these people? And then all that ends up happening is that they're no longer part of your life anyways here, right? What I get for you Gemini's is that some of you guys are... <sighs> Some of you guys are just a little bit too understanding. I feel like you guys, Gemini, need to be a little bit more cutthroat because I even see with your social situation, it's just like you wanted someone to prove you wrong. Like you wanted this person to actually be good, but it's just like you gave them the benefit of the doubt too much or something like that, Gemini. I don't know. We'll get into it in a moment, but let's get firstly your clarifiers for your career and your financial situation, Gemini. All right. As a reminder, we pulled the eight and two of swords with that six of wands. Okay, darling. So you have both the Ace of Pentacles as well as our Cups, darling. I don't know where that uh, <laughs> that accent's coming in. Uh, the Ace of Cups and Pentacles, honey. And then you have the Death card coming in here. Back of the deck is the Hanged Man coming in, Gemini. All right. So this is what I was talking about. You guys, Gemini, are being so resistant towards going into this new path here. The next time this opportunity comes about where you have the opportunity of changing changing up your storyline, changing up your path, whether it's changing career paths or something like I get changes destined for you. All right. It's like following, following, getting the, it's like you're getting the green light Gemini into doing something that you probably have had your mind on for a little bit to being like, Oh, I probably can make some money out of that. Right. And it's like leaning towards something that you feel a little bit more passionate about Gemini. And I feel like that's where the success is for you, darling. All right. I feel like things are going to be opening up for you here. All right. It's something that's like the beginning of something pretty special here for your career, for those Gemini's that choose to entertain this new energy here. All right. This is definitely like a green light for my Gemini's that have been sitting on like a book idea, a creative idea, or a business idea you've been sitting on some type of idea here all right but it would involve like a drastic shift in your current life all right but it seems to be pretty solid here whenever as a tarot reader you see more than one ace that's like a green light right and then even getting into the back of the deck card for this row here for the clarifiers gemini you have the hanged man coming in here and the hanged man is one that commits to a decision and doesn't realize that it's going to work out until the once they commit to that decision and they're already on the other side of it right that hanged man gets a complete change in perspective right we talk about keep on talking about perspective from your cards with that four of cups and what have you the two and eight of swords right changing your vision here and then you end up seeing the sun the most positive card in the tarot deck all right but it requires you to commit to an action and taking what is seen initially as a risk 
All right, because it pays off big time. Now, Gemini, let's get into your social life a little bit more. Let's clarify these cards, this three of swords with this nine and three of cups here. What is going on, honey? All right, ace of wands, page of pentacles here with the nine of pentacles stepping forward. All right, you're getting all the aces. The only ace that you're missing now, I believe, is the ace of swords, honey. All right, ace of wands, nine and nine and page of pentacles with the king of pentacles in the back of the deck here. All right, so while I get this sense for you, um, Gemini, you had this other situation that disappointed you. All right. I actually feel like there's going to be a new solid situation that comes in shortly after the fact, but you can't be messing with this old energy over here. Like, that's the thing. Like, you have this, you have a choice here, Gemini. Do you want to continue picking, working on projects of people, or do you want to deal with people who are completely finished? All right. It's like you keep on picking up projects of individuals, projects <laughs> where it's always as if they need some fine tuning. And I feel like it, it's time for you, Gemini, if you make the choice to start opening yourself up to connections that are just like already fully formed like attracting people who already know who they are already successful in their own right here all right this energy is going to be trying to come in here this is a very attractive energy all right like this energy is very attracted to you here but you have to be making space for it all right you have the very strong potential to attract very powerful people all right gemini you have like there's something about you that really gives people this strong desire this strong urge of reaching out to you and it's always like the same type of person here that's sitting here waiting with that nine and king of pentacles like this is successful business people all right some of you gemini's especially for that career portion if you were thinking about sitting like you've been sitting on an idea for a business idea some of you gemini's might be attracting someone that would be some type of mentor in your life as well all right but you got to stop messing with these little projects all right because the, these people those energies that we tapped into initially they are not worth it all right they are absolutely not worth it now gemini let's get into your third row here all right your general messages which as a reminder was your king as well as five of wands knight of cup as well as your knight of cups <clears throat> all right gemini so you guys got the eight of cups with the king and then the five of pentacles with the nine of wands in the back of the deck here for you, darling. All right. Some pretty overall solid cards here. All right. I like this for the most part for you. You are going to be walking away. It's like for many of you, for many of you Sagittarius, why am I calling you Sagittarius now? Um, for many of you Geminis here. I feel like you're going to be noticing how certain relationships in your life are just push or certain situations in general are just pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. And it all seems to be constantly going to the same root of the problem of where you have like this issue of self image here. You are walking away from individuals and situations in your life where you feel like you always have to be so strong right it's one thing to have a dream to have a passion it's another thing when you have that dream and passion and you're constantly having to defend it from naysayers from people that uh, do not understand you it's hard to follow in that dream if you're always filled with anxieties and insecurities that only started happening because of the people around you because of the environment that isn't supportive of your hopes and your dreams here all right so gemini what i want to be telling you right now is keep up with the poker face king of uh, king of cups energy with the nine of wands here all right remain vigilant right now because the eight of cups journey that you're going to be going on right while you choose that new path choose that new destination for yourself while you switch things up you finally take action on those ideas you are heading towards the sun you're heading towards that fulfillment all right and just as a reminder the eight of cups is on its journey to that 10 full cups right that complete fulfillment remembering that the nine of cups was the heart of y'all's energy gemini so you are very close to getting to your destination here but it requires some changes all right it requires some big changes in your life here walking away from things and choosing to take action on new things all right but that's how your story goes you you own the eight of cups energy following through you end up getting to that nine of cups what's next darling the ten of cups right so um a lot of high potential for you gemini a lot of high potential for you so just keep your head above water the best you can darling and let's get into your oracle cards for this tarot reading weekly tarot reading all right gemini you have the last quarter moon in gemini clearing your mind here 
All right, very fitting for you, clearing your mind of the chaos, clearing your mind of things that have been challenging you here, all right? Wolverine card coming in, you're a lot tougher than you think you are, Gemini, all right? Some of you guys just do not want to... Uh, go into that new journey taking that risk you want to continue sitting on those certain ideas because for you gemini it's like this sense that um you don't feel like you could handle it again it gets back to the sense of like how you're seeing yourself or just the sense of potential self-deprecation gemini that you need to be working on here all right your spiritual team wants to help you but they can only help you as far as where you limit yourself in your own personal capabilities all right gemini so i love you so much darling thank you so much for the opportunity of giving you this weekly tarot reading remember on the top right hand corner of your screen is going to be a link to the monthly tarot reading for july my beautiful gemini all right if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply velka Dot com. Next, my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both just being Simply Velka. If you'd like to connect me with me on a more intimate level, Gemini. All right, darling. So I love you so much. I hopefully you found this tarot reading helpful, Gemini. And I will hopefully can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.